Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be going over the tape stop effect that's built into Logic. Now the tape stop effect is that old school effect that used to get on a lot of DJ records toward the end of the song when they used to slow the record down and it made that little wobbly effect. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that real quick. So right here, I have a staccato string uh, loop that I'm playing so you guys can hear it. Yeah, right, so real simple, real simple. All right, what we want to do is get that to slow down at the end for the whole little DJ effect, like right around somewhere around here. So what you do when you have Logic open, first thing you got to do is click on the inspector. If your inspector looks like this, or if you don't have your inspector open, go ahead and go up here, click on the eye, and it's going to open up like that. The next thing you do is on, on the left side, you see where it says in the region parameters up here, you see this option that says more, you got to click more. So click it like that, and it's going to drop down. Now what we're trying to do from here is actually slow down the end of this loop. So we're going to go to fade out, we're going to change it to slow down, and we're going to set this to, let's say, 250, right? You see it puts a little fade out marker toward the end of this file. Now it kind of looks like the general fade out, but it's actually not. It's going to do a slow down effect instead of just fade out directly like most fade outs do. So let's take a listen to it. All right, see, so you hear that? Now, if you wanted to increase it, like say 2,000, um, which we don't want this because it's going to slow it down like real slow. So I'm going to just start it right here and play it. You can hear it. And instead of changing the parameter over there, you can actually come up here like you do a normal fade and just grab it. You can make it curve uh, out or in, or you could grab it at the top and just slide it all the way however you want it to fade out. Now this would be like a dramatic fade, which is not what we want. Um, so we just want it like at the end, which is typically where you hear um, most of your tape effect slowdowns at. So we'll set this back regular like that. And then we'll grab the top and move this all the way back, probably somewhere around there. And you can do it, like I said, you can do this one of two ways. You can go in over here to the left under slow down and you can type in numbers or you, if you like me, you do the eye test. I kind of like to drag where I want it to slow down. So I would probably prefer to slow down somewhere like right there, like right above, right in front of this region right here. This region of audio is probably where I have it start slowing down at. So when I play it, yeah. And that's it. That's the tape stop slow down effect in Logic. Like you can automate this effect over across a whole entire song, or you could just put it on individual sounds. Like I actually do both. So it just really depends on the groove and feel of the song. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, and click the thumbs up if you like this video. See you on the next one.